In this video, the new Antelope Audio Zen Q USB audio interface. Time to get stuck in. Hi everyone, it's James here from Antelope Audio. The new Zen Q USB is a 14 in, 10 out USB C bus powered desktop audio interface for Mac and PC, and I'm about to put it through its paces. Fancy joining me for the ride? Antelope Audio are now making the compact powerhouse that is the Zen Q even more accessible by providing a USB alternative to the original Thunderbolt 3 version of the interface. The Zen Q Synergy Core USB is the ideal choice for anyone looking for a capable desktop interface where their computer is lacking Thunderbolt 3 connectivity. The I.O. of the Zen Q USB is exactly the same as that of its Thunderbolt brother. On the front panel we have a pair of high impedance and line level instrument inputs and two independently configurable stereo headphone outputs. Around the back we have a pair of XLR TRS combo sockets for microphones, line level and instrument inputs, a pair of monitor outputs, a second set of line outputs, a stereo SPDIF pair, a Toslink input for ADA optical connectivity and the USB input. And for when you're a little more stationary there's a Kensington lock port. Before we get started, it's worth noting that ZenQ USB is a USB Type-C bus-powered device, which makes it fully portable. This means you can take it anywhere without sacrificing any of its functionality. As there is no power supply input on the ZenQ USB, you need to make sure you use a USB Type-C connection from your computer, be that PC or Mac. If you only have USB Type-A on your computer, we recommend using a USB 3.0 port or later and connecting the primary Type-A connector on the cable provided. In case you only have USB 2.0 ports available, make sure you connect both Type-A connectors to adjacent ports on your computer. The power from these two ports will provide enough juice to run the ZenQ. With a possible 14 inputs, I can record every channel from my, some might say oversized, drum kit. That's three mics on the kick, an in and out and a sub, snare top and bottom, hat, five toms, ride mic and a pair of overheads. I get two inputs from the built-in discrete console grade mic pre's and eight more when I attach an ADA optical equipped mic pre such as the Audient ASP880, making sure that the ZenQ USB is now set to clock externally from the ASP880. We don't want any nasty clicks or pops in our audio now, do we? We get two more inputs from the high impedance line level inputs on the front when I can connect a mic pre that has line level outputs and the final pair come from the SPDIF IO. So that's 14 mics in a single pass, enough for a full band or a monster drum kit. Take a listen. Next we're going to record some bass and we're going to do this using the high impedance high Z inputs. We route the incoming signal through our Antelope Audio AFX amp and cab emulations to track in real time with next to zero latency. Now to record the electric guitars. We're going to do this in much the same way as we did with the bass, with different amp and cab models of course, but just in case we fall out of love with the guitar tone, we're also going to capture a raw DI signal to a separate track on our DAW. We can use this clean track later if we want to change the tone of the guitar, either with a plug-in or with a real amplifier when reamping. We 
Because the Zen Q has a pair of high quality mic pre's with Antelope Audio mic modelling capability, we're going to record the acoustic guitar parts with an Antelope Audio Edge solo mic. We can set the mic model to be committed to the recording from the mic modelling section of the control panel. And again, if we wish, we can capture a clean, unmodeled version of the take so we can change our minds on which mic we use later on in the mixing process, if we wish. The pair of TRS jacks on the front of the Zen Q can be switched between high Z or high impedance instruments or line level, making them perfect for keyboards, samplers or other line level instruments. So time to add some keyboards. Again, using the Antelope Audio Edge solo mic, we're going to track the lead vocal, but this time we're going to add some AFX processing to get the vocal as close to a radio-ready sound in the tracking stage as we can. And of course, we're also going to capture a clean safety copy, just in case. Walking down this dead end street Dirty water at my feet Sun is rising on a brand new day Looking for someone to meet The power and routing capability of the Zen Q is not just for tracking. You can configure the second set of outputs and line level inputs as a real-time send and return for a hardware reverb or other outboard processing. Or use the real-time DSP and FPGA processing with your DAW hardware inserts and use some of the 37 included AFX processors in your mix. We really hope you've enjoyed this brief dive into the new Antelope Audio Zen Q USB audio interface. Please feel free to check out the video for the initial Thunderbolt 3 variant of the Zen Q as well, because it does contain a little more detail on the interface functionality and operation. Check out the link in the description below. We also have full tutorials on routing and mixing with Zen Q available on our website and YouTube channel. And of course, you can find out more about the Zen Q and the full range of Antelope Audio hardware and software at antelopeaudio.com. But for now, my name's James Ivey, and I'll see you again very soon. <laughs>